go, new game. Yet, always save without asking. Yes, that's a little too low. No, it's fine. It's not new, new Bender, but I just bought it today. Important change to auto attack and news up there. Uh, we'll be playing on easy. Thank you. <laughs> City and Entertainment presents a game that is less broken than Fallout New Vegas. All attacks are resisted by one or four defenses. Deflection, fortitude, reflex, or will. The enemy is powerful against one type. Try and attack the targets a different way. Five wagons grope blindly for the path on a starless night. Their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Oh man, so I caught a cold? That sucks. Oh, we get, we get to make our character here. We'll go with... I, I, I know some people don't, but I like to play as a girl because usually it's more interesting. It's different. I play as a guy in real life. I know what it's like. It's, it's boring to me. So, yeah, obviously we have human. We have... Red-faced turtle, dwarf, and elf. Or Lane. Okay, that's a gnome. A godlike. Oh, I like how that looks, though. Yeah, I got this century. I like how that looks. I'm not going to play it this time because dexterity and television. That's more of a like a caster type thing. That's all I want to do. Elf. Okay. Next. Ah, wood elf. Uh, she is going to be a ranger because that's the class I always like to play. Make a moon person. Oh, Ranger Abilities. Wounding Shot and Marked Prey. Okay. Oh, I don't want a companion. Okay, come on, I gotta do that. Okay. Oh, I have to assign points. All right. So, 
I'm guessing stars mean that's what your class is supposed to use. So let's uh, put a bunch into perception, dexterity, intellect. We'll take those to 13. What's resolve? Nah. Concentration. Constitution is health points. I want to put two in there. And we'll take these two up to 14. Uh, we'll take perception up to 15. You guys just had to make pillar jokes, didn't you? Oh, culture. Oh, God. Since this is a world I know nothing about. I'm looking forward to that uh, Sword Coast Legends game that's basically like this because I actually know what that is. The idea of Empire is currently the largest and most powerful force in this part of the world. That sounds boring. It's around the equator and it's tropical climate. Eh, the Empire is cornered. Resolve plus one. All those pirates. Well, that expansive fertile savannas. Crown jewel of the southern seas. Old gods of colonies. Mountainous region along Northern Ireland are known for its diversity of plant and animal life. We're going to pick that one. Background. Oh, here we go. Colonist. You are part of a group that founded a fledgling colony. Nah. Explorer. You find the Southern Cross the Horizon existable. Yeah, I might go for that. The study of your craft. Nah. Merchant. Nah. Drifter. Drifter and Explorer sound kind of the same, don't they? Hunter, you live for the thrill of the chase. There's a lot of reading. Yay. Bender, I played uh, Persona 4 Arena. That game is all reading. Hours and hours of reading. <laughs> so, yeah. You can sit there with Persona 4 Arena for a half hour and a bunch of reading, and then they give you one fight, and then it's another ten minutes reading. Uh, Merc. Scientist. Drifter or Explorer. I'm going to go Drifter. Oh, Bernder, have you played Persona 4 Arena? It is mainly a reading game, if you're playing the story mode. <laughs> um, there's, there's a book's worth of text in that game. And they don't voice it. Uh, primary color is going to be dark green, because that is my favorite color. Secondary color will be purple, because that's my second favorite color. Skin is a little paler than that hair. Yeah, that's a little bright. Can I rotate? There we go. Uh, that. Head. They don't really give you many choices. Hair. I will go with that. I feel like they need to give you a bit more of a color palette here. I still need to go back and play the rest of Persona 4 Goal, and I did a bunch of streams on that, and I don't even think I got halfway through it. That's part of my plan, is to go back to that one. That red's too bright. Alright, we'll go with that. Whoa. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that picture. Uh, female, 
Yes. Leading the way. Ah! To whispers and shadows. Eh? I've got this. Let's go. Keeping an eye out. What is it? Okay, that sounds like me. Like I'm flattered. Sounds... Yeah! Holy shit, there's a lot. Huh? Follow me. Show them how it's done! I'll go on ahead. Just say the word. Go with that. And her name. We'll go with my usual role-playing name. There we go. Alright. There's our character for this game. A journey to the Gilded Veil. Okay, I'm sick. The caravan master finishes addressing the group. His bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering, ew, as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods toward a looming black mass on the hillside. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Hey, A1. <laughs> oh, a bunch of people tonight, huh? Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? Last. The caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over, because your jowls aren't quivering. Touch of the rumbling rot could be. There's a stinging beetle around here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards, unless you don't drink water, of course, which case you'll be dead in a day. Unless you don't drink water, of course. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to drink water. Uh, just playing a new game, steak. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. Scare up water? You're a caravan. You didn't come with water? Are you idiots? I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. All right. Sparfill nods and slides the worn bow over his shoulder. Uh, where would I find these berries? They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. What are these ruins? Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of Course all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. Uh -huh. Thanks for following A1. Uh, your character attributes, skill, and class is not open up in dialogue. These options are not necessarily superior to the other responses, but give you a wider variety of choices to select from. Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. So because I'm an elf, I can say things or whatever. Who did build the room? Got different names for them. Settlers called them Inguithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. I'll see you later, A1. Is it dangerous? Not if you hurry about your business, oh. and not if the weather holds up. What kind of weather do they get? This out? time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here, time to time. Locals call it a beowick, born out of the ether, the spirit's path. Never seen it myself, never cared to. Hmm. Look at those huge rocks. They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. That is going to be like the central plot of this game, isn't it? <laughs> That's a bit It's obvious. more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. 
Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. Of course we remember you, Bender. You're the warrior who didn't show up for D&D. &D. <laughs> the soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Hold right. on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot, not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans her. The trailer is resting his eyes at length on a sturdy, armor-clad woman who has spent the journey of his night sleeping on uneven ground without blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! Why did the voice not happen that time? That no year? promises. Oh, hello. I should totally hit on her. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a beewick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. All these people are gonna die. <laughs> I'm calling it now. A huge beating heart that's a boss in an old game. Was it Contra? I don't remember a huge heart in Contra. I did play Contra on the stream once. Um, I don't remember a huge heart. I need more details. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Oh, this this scrolling is really slow. Just say the word. The part of consists of your character up to five additional companions or adventurers. Yep. 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 Can do. Oh, yeah, I've got Grower here, that's right. Grower has an endurance of 40. Just say the word. So, I'm okay. on it. Okay. Not a problem. Most people in the world are neutral or friendly. Okay. He doesn't have much to say. I mean, it could have been a Contra. I don't know if it was the Contra, the NES Contra. There were a bunch of them. Alright, so, oh, there we go. Zoom out. Uh huh. Where am I supposed to go? This way? Okay. We're looking for berries to calm my stomach. They're pink. So, um, we're gonna call them Pepto Bismol. The fallen tree doesn't budge. Oh, that's the fallen tree. Not looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. Well, why don't you whine about it? I should look for the other Contra games. Yeah, yeah, X4. I know. Hey, there's a deer. Come back here, Bambi. My bear wants to eat you. Corpse is cold to the touch and rife snow washed from its putrid waves. Oh, I was reading that. Okay. So they have leather armor and lockpick. I'll take that. Uh, I'm guessing I can. Yeah, here we go. Uh, what am I wearing? I'm wearing heavy armor. Uh, DR of 10. This is a DR6. What about you? 
scale armor, medium armor. This is lighter armor, medium armor. Okay, so we both have bad. We both have better. for a bit. If, uh, like, Gretchen or Hank or someone starts streaming, I'll probably stop for work. Let's but... check by those outcroppings. Oh, that looks, like, good. It uses a plausible real-time system, so it's like Baldur's Gate and stuff. Okay. Alright. So. We want you to fire on this young wolf. We want you to run up to him. We want you to run up to him. And I'm falling. Just say the word. We scored a crit. <laughs> Maverick, there's no bot. I don't do bots because I'm not going to do things like that until I actually have a chat room that's like big enough that I need a bot to manage. Everybody that's in here, I know you, I've known you guys for almost a year now. I have no reason for a bot. One of your characters has been engaged in the way, yeah. This fight is mine! Get him. Dead. We have our first victory. Just say the word. What will we get? Wolf hide. I'll take it. Just say the word. We're our lousy guide. This oh, is look. it. We found the berries. You're kind of a mystery to the rest of the caravan. Just some kind of wanderer, the way I hear it. That was a drifter thing. Oh, look, we can select our backstory here. Hmm. So I can be an orphan, a thief, on the run, or none of those really. Growler's the bear. No, the wolf was just a wolf, man. Growler's the bear. Hmm. I think this is the most interesting one. Orphans is something I kind of lean towards with this, but I think I want people to be looking for me. Yeah? How is it you happen to come here? Uh, let's see. They think I have something that belongs to them, something they're pretty intent on getting back. Cross dangerous people. I don't know why they're looking for me, and I don't care to find out. We're going to go with that one. Well, we've all got things we'd like to leave behind. Gods know I do. I'll tell you what. He's hoping they never track us down. What do you care? I haven't hit on you yet. Are you human? You look human. Strays in their surroundings. It's been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord, it's somebody's offer. Makes a girl think. I'll give him that. Your hero Cyril. Like the rest of what? Nah, I'm just passing through. Case with the big city just a little ways further up the same road. Where are you heading? Well, we're special just putting time and distance between me and my old life. I'll continue on to the city, see where it takes me. Probably wander for a while, somewhere I can make money. I'll continue to the city, see where it takes me. Defiance Bay, the capital, a few days out. God, it's nice places, and it's not so nice places. Same as any city. But the duck, duck is a good man. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. Yeah, no kidding. A demo will be giving you me option. Why are you here? My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried, but that's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out. That's got me a little worried. You know, this is Obsidian. I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't voice a lot of this. They have the resources for it. But it's fine. 
I haven't seen her in ages. She's been doing guild work or guide work, and I am not trying to pronounce that. We're just going to call it X. So I'll see. Do anything for her. She's well. She's a much better woman than me. So I'm here, and we'll see. Is she hotter? Because I'll hit on her instead. Tell me about yourself. I've got simple needs. I like open skies and far horizons. Okay, Jack Sparrow. Find work that lets me live that way. My family wanders too. We started in Dryerwood. My parents ended up in Living Lands. I've got a brother in somewhere and another in somewhere else. My sister in Gilded Vale. She's the only real home buddy. Alright, let's go back to camp. Now, I wouldn't hold my breath as far as I was getting into water anytime soon. He does what he feels like. When he feels like. We should check up on it first. Slap on my underwear. Stream's just down that way. Come on, let's get you the water. Nope, oh, see, there's Grower. We didn't kill Grower. See, he's at Endurance 40 out of 40. He's in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm supposed to go to the stream. But where? Over the bridge? What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on. Gained an item for questing. A full water skin added to the stash. Out of the trees emerges Sparfer. The guides. Barely discernible in the dim moonlight. No longer carries his bow and there's a strangeness to his gait. I don't know what that word is. His stride wobbly. He strides wobbly. He's towards his labored breath. Oh, tab key. Okay, yeah, that's just like... Sparful? Are you alright? Sparful's toe catches on a rock and he collapses forward in a heap. The feathered shaft of an arrow planted firmly between his shoulders like an enemy flag. He got shot. Here comes what shot him. Ambush! Wait. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. Me and this hunter and the bear are going to have a little arrow match. You are going to take out this guy. Go. What you need? Uh, none of them did what I told them. Okay. Back to camp. How was that checking their loot? Uh, he had a bow. Oh, I don't know. Well, I mean, he had a bow in the shoulder. He should still be alive. I told you everybody in this camp is going to end up there. Everybody's dead. I knew it. 
all around you lie the massacred remains of the other travelers, peppered with arrows and knife hilts, splayed and bug-eyed and filthy. Aliska puts the back of her left hand in her mouth as to ward away some poisonous vapor. Uh, bad guy leader, who I don't know what race that is. A handful of dark figures stands above the fallen, treading on limbs and backs and heads, jerking their axes from bodies as if from half split logs. One of them towering and severe with a thick beard tasseled with knots holds a wet blade at the neck of the man you recognize as Eodon, the last of your caravan left standing. He's dead. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you will lose. Lore 1, requirement not met. We have not trespassed. We merely wished to pass through. You now have one rank in a disposition reputation. Use reputation to present how people perceive you. All right. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. What are you talking about? Well, your courage is a mask. None of you has yet slain a true warrior. You have killed many trespassers like you. Your kills are sloppy. The wounds on these people are inefficient and off target. This is the work of untested men accustomed to carelessness. The man bares his teeth. He looks at the hero and helpless, his eyes shut, ready for the killing blow. We'll see whose courage is a mask. He shoves Hyoden toward you. As he does, the man rakes his blade against Hyoden's torso. He screams and stumbles forward. A wide, wide gash in his clothing begins to bloom crimson. The man sets his feet to engage you. His axe raised high. That guy was dead meat anyway. Oops. I'm sure that sounded good. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Uh, so that's the leader. Let's take out the... Uh, This fight is mine. No. You better. Hmm? Just say the word. You. I'm on easy. So I I'm on it. The enemy lies circling on the ground, unable to rise. Companion is now silent among the other dead. His breath comes in wheezing and fitful gasps. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choke is the sighs and whisper of wind stirs the air. Oh, there's that wind they mentioned. As the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods are just. Queer smile across his face. I am ready. To swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile, upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin, and where it pierces you, it feels as though it is rending you apart from within. Odema says, See, against the wagon wheel, amidst the howling maelstrom, slashed across the chest and bow, Odema's body stirs, and with great effort, he raises his sagging head. His eyes barely open, he looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Hidden trails behind, slid by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers who has been feigning death lunges for Hiroden and topples him on the rocky ground. They look like goblins, don't they? He 
restrained. Yodin lashes out against his fatigued assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you. From a position, you would have a good chance at hitting your mark. Dexterity 15, requirement not met. I could have made it 15, but I put the 15 in light. Fire at the attacker. Your aim is true and hits the jars healed in loose. I'm sorry, I read that poorly. Uh, I feel embarrassed by that. Let's try that again. Your aim is true and hit jars healed in loose. That's better. Lurching to his feet, Hidden clambers up the base of the rocks. As he nears the top, however, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. The music stopped. I don't read fast enough, apparently. But driving onto the hard rock, by... I can't read. But diving out of the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it. Securing his other hand, you pull with warning strength waning strength and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets we've all been there they hold just long enough for he to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge so we saved this guy seems like this game really wanted to kill this guy beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. My out. Hmm. I don't think I did anything. Each new gust menaces the old stones beneath you, loosening connections, unsettling balances as you dart beneath the old archway. The entire portal begins, begins to fall beneath its old weight. Hold on. Let me look. Cliffhanger there for a second. This thing's volume's like all the way up, man. I don't know. Hmm. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> uh, where is the game? The game has crashed. Don't off tab out of this game, I guess. Oops, the game has crashed. Here, I'll, I'll read this, the error message. The crash report folder named this date next to the game executable. It would be great if you send it to the developer of the game. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't know why my mic volume would be lower. I didn't do anything. That's for the volume control for my headsets. Uh, I don't know. I didn't change nothing. The mic on OBS is all the way up to 100%. I much more I can do there. Well, let's get let's get back into the game and see if we can at least get to this part. I hope it auto saved. If it didn't, that's gonna be the end of the stream for now. Ah, uh, continue. You heard the man. Let's oh, get going shit. before you keel over. Uh, we're gonna stop there for now. We'll can I'll catch up to that spot and continue it from there next time. Um, oh well. It's weird that it did that. All right, that is gonna be it for this stream, guys. Hopefully, somebody else is gonna pick up a stream soon. Uh, it is about nine o'clock. I don't know if anybody else is planning on streaming, but that crash ends my stream for the night. Uh, thanks all you guys who came in and watched. Uh, this is a good game. I'll keep playing it. But, uh, until next time.